hey guys i'm back with a new video uh, welcome to my youtube channel so uh, today's video is open the lock this is basically a bfs problem that is breakfast search uh, in which uh, we have to go for by level by level so uh, in a uh, few videos like and last some videos we have talked about uh, some uh, that dfs uh, algorithm uh, dfs algorithm concepts like uh, one uh, one question of number of distinct island and pacific atlantic so those are discussed with the help of uh, uh, dfs uh, uh, method dfs algorithm now it's time for bfs right so in bfs for a glance uh, bfs is going by level by level and at the end uh, we, we have to return something at the last level or if we reach the target or something like that so it is basically we are going uh, for the shortest path so for any shortest path algorithm it means for bfs it means that uh, bfs uh, is going to be used in that so even uh, uh, digestra is a bfs algorithm is a variation of bfs algorithm where we use priority queue instead of queue so let's see this question so you have a lock in front of you with the four circular wheels each wheel have 10 slots 0 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 up to 9 the wheel can rotate freely uh, and wrap around for example we can turn 9 to 0 0 to 9 okay each move consists of turning one wheel a uh, one slot okay lock initially start from 0 0 a uh, string uh, representing the state of four wheels okay so this is the initial form of my uh, lock uh, that is present then uh, we have some dead ends also that uh, means uh, if the lock display any of these codes the wheel uh, of the lock will stop turning and you will unable you will be unable to open it so we have to uh, open a suitcase let's see uh, let's say if we have something like suitcase or consisting of a good uh, four circular wheels like a four circular wheels lock and we have to open that lock to reach to our uh, desirable thing like uh, that is beneath the suitcase so we have to uh, we have a target that is basically the mm -hmm. uh, target wheel like uh, uh, by activating this wheel uh, we can uh, we can open my lock and we have some dead ends that we have to we have to ignore that so yeah so basically you can say that the initial position is A and my target position is A, uh, this. So uh, we can uh, uh, say that uh, we have to go from start position to my destination position. And whenever there is a shortest pass distance and we have to uh, calculate the uh, minimum total number of turns. So that, uh, that uh, gives us the shortest distance path. So this minimum total turns uh, will gives us the shortest distance path uh, that uh, obviously gives us BFS algorithm because BFS means we can uh, go for shortest distance like uh, initially uh, there is uh, zero 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 let's take this example okay we have zero 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 then we can uh, update it to 100 because uh, we can uh, add 1 to uh, we can roll uh, up to 1 in first uh, level or uh, we can go for 900 because this is roll like uh, 9 uh, can be turned to 0 and 0 can be turned to uh, 9 so we have to take care for that condition also so that's why uh, there are two possibilities of rolling the first uh, value and we can uh, uh, check for every value right so yeah uh, 
so for every uh, so now uh, we have got the algorithm to solve this problem now how to proceed uh, this pfs problem so first we have to use q data structure um, basically q is used for pfs algorithm like right so q is uh, q is storing the current uh, destination like my current for initial destination uh, uh, that is 0 0 0 so we have to uh, put it to my queue and uh, uh, put my every every queue uh, every element that is going to be in my road uh, is uh, going to be in my queue so in this way at the end uh, if uh, if we can uh, achieve the target like if we extract the queue and we got the target uh, and uh, the current uh, element of the queue is equal to the target then we can say that okay we can return the number of levels uh, because uh, in these uh, number of levels we have achieved the target so in this way uh, my whole bfs algorithm is going to be work okay so let's see in the code i think so we have dead ends also so we have to take care for that also so we can say that uh, set is going to be work for the dead ends like uh, it gives us o1 uh, lookup right so we can use the extra data structure that is set an order set in c++ so let's say let's say my set calls for dads okay like and this consists of all the values of my dead end now uh, we have to take uh, track of visited loop also because if we don't track, uh, take a tra uh, track of uh, visited uh, set then uh, we can uh, we can be there in queue for like forever loop so we have to avoid the forever loop like okay we have visited this loop then mark this uh, uh, des uh, mark this place as visited so we can go to that place again and again so that's what this visit array gates okay now for performing bfs we have to use q, q, q data structure let's say my q is q <laughs> so initially uh, my let's put uh, my initial point of the starting point of the this uh, of my array of my destination like if zero 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 is there then let's put it to my zero 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 okay now uh, we have to take care for level also because this is going to be our answer so let's say level uh, initially is zero okay now we have to take uh, we just have to iterate over my queue like until queue is not empty then this is just uh, just the normal pfs and let's iterate through my size of my current level right okay so now uh, we have to extract my current element okay so let's say my current element is q dot front and we have to pop it to my from my queue now uh, we have to take care for dead ends and visited also so if uh, if there is uh, if this uh, if this current string is uh, already there in my uh, 
in my dead ends uh, set or visited set then we just have to continue this loop like we just have to skip this loop uh, dead that's dot count correct or uh, it is present in, like we have already visited this string uh, then also we have to skip the slope then we just have to continue right now we have to mark this node as visited for that we have to insert it to my visited set now i have to find my next uh, value oh hey, one second if uh, my current value is equal to my target value then i just have to return the level right like this is my required level so now oh, let's say uh, now i am defining a new function that gives us uh, the next loop like for 000, zero, zero it will give us 100 zero, zero, as well as 900 zero, zero. so for this i am going to implement a function for that current and because we have to put it uh, back to q and let's say i have to uh, i have to increment my level also for every level like this is my current level so after that we have to increase the level at the end if uh, my current is equal to target then i just have to return my level but uh, if there is no target then i just have to return minus 1 at the question says now the only thing we have to implement is to implement our find set function so find set spring s let's say my spring is s and my q So let's iterate for uh, i is equal to zero to i is equal to four because there are four characters. So now I have to <coughs> store my current character so that I can put it back to my string. So for first condition, I just have to uh, increment uh, uh, zero by one. That gives us one zero zero. So I'm just incrementing. And for overload, uh, for edge cases, I am taking only unit place for giving me right answer. And I, uh, by the help of this, I am turning it back to the character array, not integer. Then now I have to put it to my queue. Now for second condition that is 0, 0, 0 gives us 9 0, 0. So for that again I have to decrement my 1 and increment by 10. That gives us uh, like uh, 10 minus 1 that gives us 9. So for that condition and again I am returning back to character and now I have to put back to my original character for further iterations so in this way I think uh, this code is good huh? set
So yeah, that's my uh, YouTube video on open the lock. A uh, very good uh, question for understanding the shortest path distance problem uh, by the help of BFS. Hope you hope you find it helpful. Uh, do like, uh, subscribe, uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for further videos. Thank you.